Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a video talking about scalp and helping you through ways that I've experienced to help you steer away from an itchy scalp. So I'm just going to tell you um, a bit about my scalp. I used to use um, tea tree oil and I don't know if you remember the video but I'll link it below and that wasn't working for me and I found, that my, I found my scalp to be quite itchy and dry and I didn't quite know what to do. But right now for like a long time, maybe about a year, I've been using hot six oil on my scalp and I use this once a week every wash day and I never need to touch my scalp after that because my head, my scalp doesn't require that much moisture in terms of being moisturised with an oil so it just needs it once a week on my wash day and that's it which I'm quite happy about. If I overload my scalp of course it will overload with build up and my type 4C curls won't be having any of that so I have to kind of be careful so I'm just going to read out some tips to you and explain along the way. So basically washing your hair on a regular basis is key. My hair likes moisture as I always keep saying it's low porosity hair and it loves the water running through my hair so I tend to wash my hair every four to five to six days depending on my schedule obviously if i can't do that i'll wash it whenever i can in the week but i usually like to stick to maybe every four five six days but it's usually always five to six days so like wash your hair on a regular basis and also not everyone's hair can be taken not everyone's hair can take being washed once a week or every few days so you have to learn what your hair likes and what it wants in terms of water and moisture and washing your hair also you need to wash with a good shampoo that will wash out all the product buildup because product buildup can obviously lead to scalp itching when my day is when my wash day is ready and my scalp is itchy i know that there's a lot of product buildup in there and with the humidity as well it's not easy to go long without washing my hair for myself anyway because the heat and everything it just oh it makes you feel sticky so get a good shampoo co-washing may not always work out for you because i believe you're just kind of softening it for the moment and with me anyway in terms of co-washing i stopped that a long time ago because it really didn't work out for my hair so you need to kind of find a balance and learn if your hair likes being co-washed more or shampooed more but as long as it's being cleansed well then that's the main thing identify products that make your scalp itch i think with me um the tresemme conditioner even though it gives me amazing slip i might just take it out of my regimen because it actually makes my hair it my scalp itch and i've heard someone else saying that as well so i've noticed when i use it because i kind of do these testy things where i use it one week leave it for a few weeks try other things as my normal try and use my other conditioners and then go back to it again and i noticed that it's significantly more itching during the week when i use my tresemme so i may just take that out of my regimen because it's not worth it using the conditioner that gives you slip but then you're left itching you need to make sure you wash your conditioner thoroughly out of your hair because obviously that along the week will build up and produce like build up on your hair and that can also lead to itching as well so be very thorough i won't say shampoo it out of your hair but i'll say really wash that conditioner when you finish deep conditioning out of your hair work out how your scalp wants to be moisturized does it want to be moisturized every other day every day once a week twice a week kind of work it out and in order to work these things out you have to try different things and see how your hair reacts to it as for me when i started using the hot six oil i just said okay i'm going to put this on my wash day and see how my scalp will react nothing it doesn't do anything so it just takes in the moisture it doesn't need much moisture and then in the week I will get build up obviously because of my moisturizing my edges and all that so I'll go and wash my hair and I'll know how to wash my hair so just be careful and keep all your um, your tools clean as well in terms of your combs your satin scarf anything that has any contact with your hair don't be using any dirty things in your hair because that can also lead to scalp itching and scalp flaking and all this so you got to keep the environment that the hair is growing out of clean the scalp obviously is very important because that's where your new growth is going to come out so I hope this video helps you guys I hope that you guys have a good healthy scalp and I'll see you soon bye